Good day. Today we would like to study the biodiversity that existed on planet Earth during the Permian period. So, would our reporters in the Permian period please describe the diversity that you see? As a trilobite, who better than me can report on the sea floor during the Paleozoic era? After all, we trilobites dominated from the beginning. All right, perhaps after the extinction of the Devonian, there aren't as many of us, but still we trilobites are here. As I look around on this seafloor, I see all of these crinoids, these animals which almost look like plants because of their elongated stems. I see all of these shellfish, these brachiopods, these colonial bryozoans. Although the sea scorpions are not as common as they once were, they are still here. We have corals, the tabulate corals and the rugose corals. There are all of these fish, such as some jawless fish, a plethora of cartilaginous fish, all of these different types of sharks, these acanthodians, these osteichthians, all of these diverse animals. These make up the Paleozoic seafloor and the Paleozoic waters. What a rich diversity. I am a Boreasaur. I am a great herbivorous anapsid reptile from the Permian, and I can talk about the terrestrial environments of the Permian. We have these great forests made of lycopod trees and tree ferns and these early types of gymnosperms. These forests are full of insects, a great diversity of insects which are brand new here in the Permian. There are still a great diversity of those amphibians which had begun in the Devonian and become so diverse in the Carboniferous. And so, life on land is truly thriving here in the Permian. Many areas continue to form coal as all of this organic matter can be trapped and this carbon stored deep in the, uh, beneath the surface. And so coal continues to be formed. I am a therapsid reptile, a synapsid reptile. Me and my kin, we dominate so many terrestrial habitats. While the pelicosaurs, our ancestors, are not as common as they once were, they are still around, and we therapsids have produced so many carnivorous forms and herbivorous forms, we can be found everywhere. I think it's because we walk upright, and we're warm-blooded, and our brains are a bit bigger, and we have changes in our teeth, and all of these other features of ourselves which just make us better than so much of the life around today. We rule!